Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing an updated favorite foundation video because a lot of y'all are commenting on my old video, which is around a year old, and y'all are like, why isn't this included? In and I'm just like, well, it's old, and I didn't have those products at that time because they didn't exist or I just wasn't using them. But anyways, in today's video, I am sharing with y'all the foundations that I most use throughout my daily life. And these are the foundations that basically I always go back to because no matter what foundation I try, whether I like it or not. These are the foundations that I always go back to because these foundations will never do me wrong. These are the foundations that I will, I don't care how much I have to spend because I need them in my life when I run out. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and just get started. My first foundation is my Tarte Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation and this is their Amazonian Clay Powder Foundation. The thing about Tarte is that they have so many benefits for your skin, but for me personally, their liquid foundation makes me break out like crazy. But I love how full coverage and natural looking these foundations are. So when I picked up the powder foundation I had no expectations whatsoever other than coverage I assumed that I was literally gonna break out like I did I didn't know what was gonna happen but once I tried it this foundation does tend to oxidize so do go a shade lighter but this foundation retails for around $35 when I got this foundation I had no expectations little did I know that it was gonna blow my mind because for such a natural looking foundation and for something that I use on my lazy day it is so full coverage so easy to apply and you can literally walk out the door in 10 minutes honestly this has just blown my mind this is my lazy day foundation and this is the foundation that I go to when I just need a little bit of um, powder if I'm going just to Walmart or I'm going to the store or sometimes when my boyfriend's like let's go here let's go there I'm just like okay let me just powder my face real quick and I'm good to go I will say that it's not long wearing that's my only con to this foundation sometimes throughout the day if it's really hot or we have really oily skin again the foundation starts to separate on my nose and my cheeks and so what I have to do is I have to have a brush with me or a sponge to buff it into my skin so that it looks like I just put it on that's my only issue but every time I buff it in it goes back to the way it was other than that this foundation has no flaws it is long wearing it is full coverage even though it is a powder you can definitely build it up to full coverage I do use the kabuki brush that comes with this or it doesn't come with it but you have to buy it separately if you go on QVC it does come with it and I do like that it does have mesh netting in the middle to kind of keep the foundation inside of the bottle and you don't have this whole mess and on top of that it just keeps it in place but yeah guys that's the Tarte Amazonian clay full coverage airbrush foundation absolutely love it I recommend it to anybody who's a lazy B has oily skin C has problematic skin and D just prefers a powder foundation over a liquid foundation definitely recommend this to y'all the second product that I want to talk to y'all about is the Dermablend smooth liquid camo and this foundation just covers up everything it's full coverage it doesn't make me break out it, it can last all day it's just an amazing product my only issue with this foundation is is that because I have oily skin it does tend to get a little bit oily in my t-zone so I have to keep touching up the shades are a little off so sometimes you can find your shade sometimes you can't my old shade was chestnut and now I have sepia but sepia is too light and chestnut's too orange and I just am in between I, I should probably try mixing them but anyway I will say that this foundation looks amazing in photographs so if you're going to the club and you need a full coverage foundation that's not gonna give you a white cast I definitely recommend this to y'all I went to the club the other night and my boyfriend took a photo of me and this foundation made me look absolutely amazing like I was like dang I look busted because I had had my foundation on all day and like my hair was all waxed it was humid and my outfit was kind of gross because we went to the club unexpectedly I wasn't dressed to impress but my face looked beat for the gods guys moving on the third foundation that I absolutely adore I absolutely love this foundation because it's not matte it's kind of a satin finish but at the same time it lasts all day and even though I have oily skin this foundation does not make me look oily. it doesn't make me look like a hot mess this foundation covers up all my imperfections and as y'all know I have a lot of acne scarring so for me coverage is very important but I don't like to compromise the longevity of a foundation and this is the Becca ultimate coverage complexion cream and I'm, I'm in the shade buttercup at first it looks super white but it blends into my skin tone I also have a review if you want to check that out click here but this foundation is just one of my go-to foundations because it's not matted it gives me a glow perfects my skin but what I like most about this foundation is that it's so lightweight even though it is full coverage even though you can semi feel it on your face for the amount of coverage it provides it is so lightweight and you barely feel it on your skin honestly this foundation has no cons this foundation can't go wrong the next product and this is my holy grail guys this is my number one foundation I don't care what you have to say I don't care what people are saying I don't care if you don't like it I love it I like it this is my number one and like no foundation can do me justice the way this foundation has and this is the Estee Lauder Devil Wear foundation and I'm in the shade 2w2 Rattatan. this foundation I don't care what type of skin type this foundation is for everybody unless you have dry skin in which case I totally understand 
understand. I'm sorry, but for me, I have oily skin. I absolutely love this foundation. The only cons to this foundation that I can possibly think of is the fact that it is super matte, and some people don't like matted foundations. It can feel heavy if you apply too much, and you know, some of us like extra coverage, so if you build that product up, it's gonna feel slightly heavy, but this foundation can do no wrong in that it doesn't make me break out no matter what. I can sleep with it, and I won't break out. It controls my oil, which is one of the main ones. It covers all of my imperfections. Even though it is medium coverage, you can build it up to full coverage. There is literally a shade for everybody. And on top of that, it's made by Estee Lauder. And if you, even though Estee Lauder specializes for an older generation, they are trying to market more towards youth by having Kendall Jenner as their model. I do think that everybody can benefit from using this foundation just because it is such a nice lightweight foundation, unless you build it up. If you put it on with a beauty blender, it, it just covers so flawlessly. I just absolutely love this foundation. And I think that the number one reason that I love this foundation is that no matter what, it doesn't make me break out. I absolutely love this foundation because I think I, I started off with this foundation and, you know, I kind of wandered, but no matter what, I always find myself with this foundation. This is my go-to foundation. The whole time I was in Paris last month, this was the foundation that I was using. I actually bought it at, I actually bought this foundation at one of the duty-free stores and I got it for $35, which was a dollar cheaper and it didn't pay any taxes. It was funny because people were like, why are you buying Estee Lauder? And I was like, because I need it. Like, I need it. I need it to look good. I think I'm already like halfway through it. It's been like two months, but anyway, I absolutely love this foundation. And the last foundation is obviously new. I just did a review on it, but it's already one of my favorite foundations. And the reason behind that is that this was my summertime foundation. It just gives me a glow. It makes me look beautiful. I want to say it lasts all day, but it kind of doesn't. It lasts about seven to eight hours. So about a nor normal shortish day. This is the Born This Way foundation from Too Faced. I just absolutely love it. Anyway, I just love this foundation because it gives me a glow. I have oily skin, but somehow it still manages to look beautiful on my skin. It blurs out all my imperfections. I look flawless. And like I said, people are like, oh my God, what's on your skin? I need that. And I'm just like, maybe I was born this way. Anyways, guys, that basically concludes this video. If you like this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me personally, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to comment down below and let me know what your favorite foundations are. Let me know what y'all are using this summer and let me know what your favorite type of tacos are. I love me some tacos. My favorite taco place is Urban Taco, guys, and like craving their barbacoa taco. Oh, they're so good. If you haven't checked out Urban Taco, make sure to check it out because it's amazing. Ah. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. You got found out. Today's video is based on the general question that I get a lot from friends, from family, from people on Instagram. Basically, the number one question I get asked is, how do you edit your